Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we set sail on a journey across the vast ocean to discover the fascinating world of the albatross. Join me as we uncover the awe-inspiring symbolism and biblical lessons embodied by these magnificent seabirds. The albatross, with its impressive wingspan and remarkable flying abilities, reveals the intricate design of our Creator. Just as Isaiah 40 verse 31 reminds us, but those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Let's delve into the unique features of the albatross that enable it to navigate the open skies with grace and purpose. Albatrosses embark on extraordinary migratory journeys, traveling vast distances across the ocean. Their unwavering faith in their instincts and God's guidance inspires us to trust in God's plan for our lives. In Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, we are encouraged to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. The Albatross teaches us the importance of surrendering to God's leading and having faith in the journey ahead. These seabirds spend a majority of their lives gliding over the open ocean, relying on air currents and wind patterns to navigate and find sustenance. Their journey serves as a powerful reminder that when we put our hope and trust in God, He guides us through the currents of life and provides for our every need. In Matthew 6 verse 26, Jesus reminds us, Look at the birds of the air, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Just as the albatross relies on God's provision for sustenance, let us trust in His faithfulness and rest in the assurance that He will provide for our needs. Furthermore, the albatross's ability to travel vast distances without growing weary speaks to the enduring strength that comes from our hope in the Lord. In Romans 12 verse 12, the Apostle Paul encourages us, Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Let the albatross inspire us to maintain a joyful hope, patiently enduring through challenges, and remaining faithful in prayer as we navigate the ups and downs of life's journey. Albatrosses are known for their strong sense of community and dedication to their families. They demonstrate the value of unity and caring for one another. In 1 Peter 4 verse 8, we are reminded to, above all, love each other deeply, because love covers over a multitude of sins. The albatross encourages us to cultivate loving relationships, support one another, and journey together as a community of faith. The albatross's ability to traverse the vastness of the ocean reminds us of the boundless expanse of God's creation. It calls us to appreciate the beauty and diversity of the world God has made. Psalm 95 verse 4 declares, In his hand are the depths of the earth, and the mountain peaks belong to him. May we embrace the wonders of creation with awe and gratitude, recognizing the Creator behind it all. Additionally, the albatross's solitary nature reflects the importance of finding solitude and quiet moments of reflection in our relationship with God. In Psalm 46 verse 10, we are reminded, Be still, and know that I am God. Just as the albatross finds solitude in its flight, we too should carve out moments of stillness to connect with our Creator, allowing His presence to renew and strengthen us. As we conclude our exploration of the albatross, we are reminded of the profound lessons it teaches us about faith, community, and the vastness of God's creation. Join us next time as we continue to uncover the wonders of God's diverse and magnificent world. Until then, may we be inspired by the albatross to soar on wings of faith and trust in the limitless power of our Creator. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from the albatross and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, 
where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today's video is about the amazing alpacas. Alpacas are gentle and curious animals that belong to the camel family. They are native to South America and have been domesticated for thousands of years. They are known for their soft and luxurious fiber, which is used to make clothing, blankets, and other textiles. In the Bible, we can find references to sheep and wool, which are similar to alpacas and their fiber. In the book of Isaiah 53 verse 6, it says, We all, like sheep, have gone astray, each of us has turned to our own way. This reminds us that just like sheep and alpacas need a shepherd to guide them, we too need God to guide us in our lives. Alpacas are known for their gentle and humble demeanor. They remind us of the importance of displaying gentleness and humility in our interactions with others. Matthew 11 verse 29 says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Alpacas are social animals and live in herds, which can range in size from just a few to over a hundred. They have a gentle nature and are often used as therapy animals, bringing joy and comfort to people who need it most. They teach us about the value of unity and cooperation within the body of Christ. Make every effort to keep the unity of the Spirit through the bond of peace. Ephesians 4 verse 3 one thing that makes alpacas unique is that they are very sensitive to their environment. They are adapted to living in high-altitude regions and have a special breathing pattern that allows them to extract more oxygen from the air. They are also very environmentally friendly animals, as they have soft padded feet that don't damage the soil. In Proverbs 12 verse 10, it says, The righteous care for the needs of their animals, but the kindest acts of the wicked are cruel. This reminds us that it's our responsibility to care for the animals that God has placed under our care. Alpacas, with their gentle nature and sensitivity, remind us to treat all of God's creatures with love and respect. In addition to their soft fiber, alpacas are also known for their adorable appearance. They have long necks, pointy ears, and a fuzzy face that make them look like teddy bears. It's no wonder that they have become a popular attraction at zoos and animal sanctuaries around the world. Alpacas are attentive parents, nurturing and protecting their young. They teach us about the importance of stewarding and caring for the next generation. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 6 admonishes us to train up a child in the way they should go, and even when they are old they will not turn from it. So, the next time you see an alpaca, remember the special place that these animals hold in God's creation. They remind us to be gentle, caring, and sensitive to our environment and to all of God's creatures. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from alpacas and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we embark on an underwater adventure to explore the enchanting world of angelfish. Join me as we uncover the captivating secrets of these graceful creatures and discover the biblical truths they reveal. Before we dive in, let us ground ourselves in the Word of God. In Psalm 104 verses 24 to 25, we are reminded, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all, the earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. The angelfish, with its vibrant colors and majestic fins, is indeed one of the wonders that grace our oceans. Let us explore the remarkable characteristics of these fish and how they reflect God's divine design. Angelfish, known for their graceful movements and striking patterns, are often regarded as underwater guardians of beauty. 
Their sleek bodies and delicate fins remind us of the elegance and grace that God lavishes upon his creation. Did you know that angelfish live in harmony within intricate coral reefs? Just as God designed each element of the reef to work together, the angelfish symbolize the importance of unity and cooperation within the body of Christ. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12, the Apostle Paul writes, Just as a body, though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. Just like the diverse inhabitants of the coral reef, each with their unique roles, we, as followers of Christ, have different gifts and talents to contribute to the unity of the church. Angelfish move gracefully through the water. They remind us of the concept of moving through life with grace, demonstrating God's grace to others through our actions and attitudes. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and His grace to me was not without effect. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10 Angelfish often rely on the guidance of the group. They teach us about the importance of seeking godly guidance and wisdom from others within the body of Christ. Proverbs 19 verse 20 reminds us, Listen to advice and accept discipline, and at the end you will be counted among the wise. Additionally, the angelfish's vibrant colors remind us of the beauty and diversity that God has lavished upon his creation. Just as each angelfish displays its unique patterns, we, too, are fearfully and wonderfully made, reflecting the creativity of our Heavenly Father. In Psalm 139 verse 14, the psalmist proclaims, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Let the vibrant hues of the angelfish serve as a reminder of the beauty that surrounds us and the awe-inspiring love with which God crafted every detail of his creation, including you and me. Let's be encouraged to be bold in our faith and to let our lives shine as a testimony to God's goodness. Matthew 5, verse 16 tells us, Let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Some angelfish exhibit protective parental behavior. They remind us of the responsibility to protect and care for our families and spiritual communities. Fathers, do not exasperate your children. Instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Ephesians 6 verse 4 Furthermore, angelfish are known for their attentive care of their offspring. They demonstrate the selflessness and sacrificial love that we as believers, are called to embody in our relationships and communities. Jesus teaches us in John 15 verse 12. My command is this, love each other as I have loved you. Just as angelfish diligently guard and nurture their young, let us embrace the call to love one another sacrificially, reflecting the selfless love of Christ in our daily lives. As we conclude our exploration of these fascinating angelfish, let us marvel at the extraordinary diversity of God's creation and its profound connection to our faith. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from angelfish and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today's video is about anteaters. These amazing creatures are known for their unique appearance and specialized diets. As we learn more about these fascinating animals, let us remember the wisdom and creativity of our Creator God. One of the most striking features of anteaters is their long snouts and tongues, which they use to eat ants and termites. This specialized diet is a testament to God's design and provision for all creatures on earth. In Psalm 104 verse 14, the psalmist praises God for his care of all living things, saying, He makes grass grow for the cattle, and plants for people to cultivate, bringing forth food from the earth. Anteaters rely on their keen senses to detect insects. They encourage us to be sensitive to God's guidance through the Holy Spirit, allowing Him to direct our paths, but when He, the Spirit of Truth, 
comes, he will guide you into all the truth. John 16 verse 13. Anteaters are also known for their powerful claws, which they use to dig into termite mounds and ant hills. These claws are perfectly adapted to the anteater's unique lifestyle and provide a powerful example of God's intricate design in all things. As the Apostle Paul reminds us in Romans chapter 1 verse 20, For since the creation of the world God's invisible qualities, His eternal power and divine nature, have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that people are without excuse. Anteaters exhibit patience and persistence as they methodically search for ants and termites. They remind us of the value of patience in our faith journey and the importance of persistently seeking God. 2 Chronicles 15 verse 7 reminds us, But as for you, be strong and do not give up, for your work will be rewarded. Another interesting fact about anteaters is their ability to slow down their metabolism and conserve energy when food is scarce. This unique adaptation allows them to survive in environments where other animals would struggle to find enough food. As we admire the incredible ways in which God has designed and provided for these creatures, let us remember Jesus' words in Matthew 6 verse 26, Look at the birds of the air, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Anteaters lead simple lives focused on their basic needs. They encourage us to find contentment in life's simplicity and not become overly consumed by material pursuits. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 reminds us, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Anteaters are selective in their diet, focusing on what nourishes them. They remind us of the need for discernment in what we consume spiritually and the importance of focusing on God's word. I have not departed from the commands of his lips, I have treasured the words of his mouth more than my daily bread. Job 23 verse 12 Finally, anteaters diligently search for food. They inspire us to seek God's presence with the same determination and hunger, knowing that he is our ultimate source of nourishment. You, God, are my God, earnestly I seek you, I thirst for you, my whole being longs for you, in a dry and parched land where there is no water. Psalm 63 verse 1 In conclusion, anteaters are a wonderful example of God's creativity and provision in the animal kingdom. Let us give thanks for the wisdom and goodness of our Creator God, who cares for all creatures great and small. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from anteaters and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we embark on a journey across the African savanna to explore the magnificent world of antelope. Join me as we unravel the wonders of these graceful creatures and uncover the biblical truths they reveal. Before we embark on this adventure, let us ground ourselves in the Word of God. In Psalm 50 verse 10, we are reminded, for every animal of the forest is mine, and the cattle on a thousand hills. The antelope, with its majestic beauty and swift movements, is one of the many creatures that remind us of God's ownership and sovereignty over all his creation. Antelopes are known for their slender bodies, powerful legs, and gracefully curved horns. These attributes enable them to navigate their habitats with agility, highlighting the wisdom and precision of God's design. Did you know that antelopes often live in herds? Just as these majestic creatures find strength and protection in their unity, we, as followers of Christ, are called to find strength and support in our faith community. In Ecclesiastes 4 verses 9 to 10, it is written, Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor, if either of them falls down, one can help the other up. 
Let the antelope inspire us to cherish and support one another in our spiritual journey, knowing that we are stronger when we walk together in faith. Furthermore, the antelope's ability to swiftly navigate through challenging terrains reminds us of the importance of perseverance in our Christian walk. Just as the antelope perseveres, leaping over obstacles and enduring harsh conditions, we too must persevere through trials, trusting in God's strength and guidance. In James 1 verse 12, the Apostle James encourages us. Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Let the antelope be a symbol of inspiration, reminding us to press on, even when faced with challenges, knowing that our endurance will be rewarded by our faithful and loving Heavenly Father. As we conclude our time together, let us reflect on the awe-inspiring beauty of God's creation. From the boundless savannas to the majestic antelope, every creature bears witness to our Creator's glory and points us to His love and faithfulness. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from antelope and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today's video is about the Arctic Fox. Did you know that God created these beautiful creatures with some unique adaptations that allow them to thrive in the harsh Arctic environment? Arctic foxes have thick, white fur coats that help them blend into the snow and stay warm in the cold temperatures. This reminds me of a verse from the book of Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, where God says, Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Just as the Arctic fox is covered in white to blend into the snow, God's forgiveness can cover our sins and make us pure like snow. Another adaptation that the Arctic fox has, is its ability to change its fur color from white in the winter to brownish gray in the summer. This allows them to blend in with the environment and avoid predators. Similarly, in the book of Romans, it says, Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, Romans 12 verse 2. Just as the Arctic fox adapts to its surroundings, we too can be transformed by renewing our minds and conforming to God's will. Arctic foxes are also known for their resourcefulness in finding food. During the winter months, they rely on small mammals such as lemmings, but in the summer, they have been known to scavenge for carrion and even eat berries. They remind us of the importance of resourcefulness and responsible stewardship of God's blessings. Whoever can be trusted with very little can also be trusted with much, and whoever is dishonest with very little will also be dishonest with much. Luke 16 verse 10 Arctic foxes endure extreme cold and scarcity of food. They teach us about perseverance and endurance in our faith journey, trusting in God's strength during difficult times. The book of Galatians reminds us, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Arctic foxes are devoted parents, caring for their young. They remind us of the importance of nurturing and protecting our families and spiritual communities. Proverbs 22 verse 6 counsels us to train up a child in the way he should go, and even when they are old they will not turn from it. In addition to their unique adaptations, Arctic foxes are also known for their playful nature. They have been observed sliding down snowy slopes and playing with other members of their pack. This reminds me of a verse from the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 4, where it says, A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance. God created us not just to survive, but also to enjoy the world he made and to find joy in the little things like the Arctic foxes do. Finally, Arctic foxes rely on their keen sense of direction and smell to navigate their vast habitat. 
They encourage us to trust in God's guidance and leading in our lives. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 In conclusion, the Arctic fox is a beautiful and fascinating creature that displays God's creativity and provision in nature. Its ability to adapt to its environment, find food, and play reminds us of God's provision and joy in our lives. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from Arctic foxes and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know which animal you would like me to discuss. Today, we're going to talk about the armadillo, a fascinating creature that is native to the Americas. Armadillos are mammals that are known for their tough, armor-like outer covering, which is made up of bony plates that overlap each other like a suit of armor. There are about 20 species of armadillos, ranging from the tiny pink fairy armadillo, which is only about 4 inches long, to the giant armadillo, which can grow up to 5 feet long. Armadillos are omnivores and eat a variety of foods, including insects, fruits, and small animals. They are also excellent diggers and can burrow into the ground to escape predators or find shelter. Now, you may wonder, what does the Bible have to say about armadillos? While the Bible doesn't mention armadillos specifically, it does talk about the greatness of God's creation. In Psalm 96 verses 11 to 12 it says, Let the heavens rejoice, let the earth be glad, let the sea resound, and all that is in it. Let the fields be jubilant, and everything in them, let all the trees of the forest sing for joy. Interestingly, the armor of the armadillo can remind us of the spiritual armor that we as Christians are called to wear. In Ephesians 6 verses 10 to 18, the Apostle Paul instructs us to put on the full armor of God, which includes the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shield of faith, and the helmet of salvation. The armor of the armadillo can serve as a visual reminder for us to be prepared and protected in our spiritual lives as well. In conclusion, the armadillo is an incredible animal that showcases God's creativity and ingenuity in the animal kingdom. It can also serve as a reminder for us to be prepared and protected in our spiritual lives by putting on the full armor of God. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from armadillos and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Baboons are fascinating primates that live in various parts of Africa and Arabia. Today, we will learn some interesting facts about baboons and see how they relate to the Bible. Baboons are known for their distinctive long snouts, cheek pouches, and short tails. They are social animals that live in troops and communicate with each other through a range of vocalizations, gestures, and facial expressions. They are also omnivores, which means they eat both plants and animals, including insects, fruit, and seeds. In the Bible, baboons are not mentioned explicitly, but there are some passages that refer to related animals. For example, in Psalm 104 verse 18, the psalmist praises God for creating the high mountains for the wild goats. The rocks are a refuge for the conies. The conies referred to in this verse are likely hyraxes, which are small, rabbit-like mammals that are sometimes confused with baboons. Like baboons, hyraxes are social animals that live in groups and are adapted to rocky habitats. 
Another interesting connection between baboons and the Bible is the idea of community and social behavior. Baboons live in complex social structures where they form hierarchies, alliances, and bonds with other individuals. They also exhibit empathy, cooperation, and conflict resolution skills, which are essential for their survival and well-being. Similarly, the Bible emphasizes the importance of community, love, and compassion among God's people. In John 13 verses 34 to 35, Jesus commands his disciples to love one another, saying, By this everyone will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Finally, baboons can also teach us about the beauty and diversity of God's creation. They have unique physical and behavioral traits that reflect the creativity and wisdom of the Creator. As Psalm 104 verses 24 to 25 declares, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom you made them all, the earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. In conclusion, Baboons are fascinating animals that can teach us important lessons about community, adaptation, and the beauty of God's creation. As we study and appreciate these creatures, let us also remember to glorify God, who made all things for His glory and our enjoyment. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lesson we can learn from baboons and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we'll be talking about the incredible badger family. Despite their small size, badgers are known for their fearless and tenacious nature. They are one of the toughest animals in the world, and they don't back down from a fight. In fact, badgers have been known to attack animals much larger than themselves, like lions and crocodiles. They are relentless in their pursuit of food and will even take on venomous snakes to get a meal. The Bible teaches us to be strong and courageous, just like the badger. In Joshua 1 verse 9, God tells Joshua, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Badgers are also incredibly fast and agile. They can run up to 25 miles per hour and are expert climbers and diggers. But despite their fierce nature, badgers are also very intelligent. They have a remarkable sense of smell and can locate food even underground. In the book of Proverbs, the wise King Solomon wrote, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Badgers remind us that even the smallest and seemingly weakest of creatures can be strong and courageous when they trust in God and use the gifts He has given them. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Join me again tomorrow as we explore another incredible creature God has made. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from badgers and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're diving deep into the world of the Barracuda. These magnificent predators of the sea can teach us some valuable life lessons. Join me as we explore the fascinating world of Barracudas and see which spiritual lessons we can learn. Our first lesson from the Barracuda is all about perseverance. 
These remarkable creatures are known for their patience and determination in hunting. In the same way, the Bible encourages us to persevere in our faith and life's challenges. In James 1 verse 12, it says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Just as barracudas persistently stalk their prey, we too should persevere under trials, knowing that our faith will be rewarded. Next, let's talk about unity. Barracudas often swim in schools, relying on each other for protection and hunting success. The Bible emphasizes the importance of unity within the body of believers. In 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10, it says, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Just as barracudas find strength in unity, we should strive for unity in our faith communities, working together for a common purpose. Barracudas are highly intelligent predators, carefully assessing their surroundings before making a move. The Bible encourages us to seek wisdom and understanding. In Proverbs 4 verse 7, it says, Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. Though it cost all you have, get understanding. Just as barracudas use their wisdom to thrive in their environment, we should seek wisdom and understanding in our lives to make wise decisions. Another remarkable aspect of barracudas is their fearlessness. They often approach larger predators without hesitation. The Bible teaches us about facing our fears with faith and courage. In Joshua 1 verse 9, it says, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Just as barracudas fearlessly approach larger fish, we should face our fears with courage, knowing that God is with us. Lastly, let's talk about patience. Barracudas are masters of waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. The Bible teaches us about the importance of patience in our lives. In Psalm 37 verse 7, it says, Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Just as barracudas patiently wait for the right moment, we should cultivate patience in our lives, trusting in God's timing. As we conclude our journey into the world of the barracuda, we've been reminded that these magnificent creatures can teach us valuable life lessons that can enrich our faith and guide us on our own journeys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from barracudas and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know which animal you would like me to discuss. Did you know that there are over 1,400 species of bats in the world? They are fascinating creatures that often get a bad reputation because of their association with darkness. But what does the Bible have to say about bats? In Leviticus 11 verse 19, bats are listed among the unclean animals that we are not allowed to eat. But this doesn't mean that bats are evil or bad creatures. God created all animals and declared them good in Genesis 1 verse 25. So, what makes bats so special? Bats are the only mammals that can truly fly. They have wings made of skin that stretch between their fingers and body. Some species of bats can fly up to 99 miles per hour, making them some of the fastest animals in the world. Bats are also essential to the ecosystem as they help control insect populations and pollinate plants. Bats are social animals that live in large groups called colonies. They roost in caves, trees, and other sheltered areas during the day and come out at night to hunt and feed. 
The Bible tells us to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Just as bats adapt to different environments, we are called to be adaptable and courageous in the face of change, trusting that God is with us every step of the way. Finally, some bats use a special way of finding their way around called echolocation, a process in which they emit high-frequency sounds that bounce off objects to locate their prey in complete darkness. By paying attention to how long it takes for the echoes to come back and how the echoes sound, bats can figure out where they are, find their food, and avoid running into things, even when it's really dark. Bats' use of echolocation teaches us to rely on more than just our physical senses. The Bible teaches us that we live by faith, not by sight. In our spiritual journey, we are called to trust in God and rely on faith, even when we cannot see or fully understand the path ahead. Bats are fascinating creatures that remind us of the amazing diversity of God's creation. They may not be as cuddly as kittens or as majestic as eagles, but they are just as important to the balance of nature. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from bats and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. In this video, we will explore the fascinating world of bears and how they reflect God's glory in their unique design and behavior. From their impressive strength and intelligence to their nurturing care for their young, bears are a true wonder of God's creation. Join me as we delve into the spiritual lessons we can learn from these magnificent creatures. Bears are among the most fascinating creatures in the animal kingdom. These majestic animals are found throughout the world, from the forests of North America to the mountains of Asia. But what makes bears so special, and what can we learn from them about our faith and our relationship with God? One of the most striking things about bears is their incredible strength and power. Whether they're catching fish in a river or digging through the earth for roots and insects, bears are formidable predators. But even in their strength, they reflect the power and might of our Creator. But bears are not just fierce predators, they are also nurturing caregivers. Mother bears are known for their fierce protection of their young, and they will go to great lengths to keep their cubs safe from harm. In this way, bears reflect the sacrificial love that God has for us, and the care that He provides for us in our times of need. Another fascinating aspect of bear behavior is their hibernation. During the winter months, bears will go into a deep sleep to conserve energy and survive the harsh conditions. This reminds us of the importance of rest and renewal in our own lives, and how we can rely on God to sustain us through even the most difficult times. But it's not all seriousness with bears. They are also known for their playful antics, from wrestling with each other to rolling around in the grass. In this way, bears remind us of the joy and lightheartedness that God wants us to experience in our lives, even as we navigate the challenges that come our way. So the next time you see a bear, take a moment to appreciate the wonder and beauty of God's creation. From their strength and power to their nurturing care and playful antics, bears have much to teach us about our faith and our relationship with God. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lesson we can learn from bears and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Have you ever seen a beaver in action? These incredible animals are known for their engineering prowess, creating intricate dams and lodges that transform the landscapes they inhabit. But there's more to beavers than just their impressive building skills. Beavers are also known for their industriousness and their ability to work together to achieve a common goal. 
They're social creatures that live in family groups and rely on each other to survive. And as Christians, we can learn a lot from their example. In the book of Proverbs, chapter 6 verse 6, it says, Go to the ant, you sluggard, consider its ways and be wise. While this verse specifically mentions ants, it applies just as much to beavers. These animals work tirelessly to build their homes and provide for their families. They don't give up when things get difficult, but instead persevere until the job is done. And just like beavers, we as Christians are called to work hard and persevere in our faith. In the book of Colossians, chapter 3 verse 23, it says, Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters. Beavers work for their families, but as Christians, we work for the Lord. And just as beavers are committed to their cause, we should be committed to serving God with all our hearts. And finally, we can learn from the way that beavers transform their environment. These animals create habitats for themselves and other creatures, and they do so in a way that benefits the entire ecosystem. They may be small, but they have a big impact. In the book of Genesis, chapter 1 verse 26, it says, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. As humans, we have been given the responsibility of caring for the earth and all its creatures. And just like beavers, we can make a positive impact on the world around us. So let us follow the example of the beaver, working hard, persevering in our faith, and making a positive impact on the world around us. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn about beavers and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know which animal you would like me to discuss. Today, we venture into the fascinating world of beetles, often overlooked but brimming with hidden marvels. Join me as we unveil the extraordinary design and biblical lessons embedded in these humble creatures. Beetles, with their diverse species and astonishing adaptations, stand as a testament to the boundless creativity and wisdom of our Creator. In the book of Psalms, we are reminded that God, in His wisdom has created all things. Beetles are among the most numerous creatures on Earth, with over 350,000 known species. From the industrious dung beetles that play a vital role in ecosystems to the remarkable iridescence of jewel beetles, each species showcases God's intricate artistry and purposeful design. Just as beetles come in various shapes, sizes, and colors, our Christian faith teaches us that God's love and grace are all-encompassing, embracing the diversity within His creation and among His people. In Galatians 3 verse 28, the Apostle Paul reminds us, There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. Let the beetles serve as a reminder of the beauty found in diversity and unity, reflecting the richness of God's creation and the importance of love and acceptance within our Christian community. Furthermore, beetles exemplify resilience and adaptation. Some species can withstand extreme temperatures, while others possess astonishing camouflage abilities, blending seamlessly into their surroundings. The psalmist says in Psalm 19 verse 1 that, The heavens declare the glory of God, the skies proclaim the work of His hands. May the humble beetles remind us of the hidden marvels that surround us, pointing us towards the Creator who crafted them with such intricacy and purpose. Let us continue to explore the depths of God's wondrous creations and find inspiration in the smallest of creatures, knowing that our Heavenly Father is present in every detail. In Romans 12 verse 2, the Apostle Paul encourages us not to conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Let the beetles inspire us to adapt to our ever-changing circumstances, relying on God's guidance and the renewing power of the Holy Spirit, rather than conforming to worldly standards. 
Additionally, the industrious nature of Beatles reminds us of the value of hard work and stewardship. Just as beetles play vital roles in ecosystems by recycling organic matter or pollinating plants, we are called to be diligent stewards of the earth and faithful workers in God's kingdom. In Colossians 3 verse 23, we are encouraged that, whatever you do, work at it with all your heart, as working for the Lord. Let the beetles inspire us to approach our daily tasks with enthusiasm and dedication, recognizing that our efforts, no matter how small or unseen, can have a significant impact when done for the glory of God. As we conclude our time together, let us marvel at the intricate wonders of God's creation, exemplified by the astonishing diversity and adaptability of beetles. May we embrace the biblical lessons they teach us about unity, resilience, and diligent stewardship. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from beetles and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today our video is on beluga whales. These amazing creatures are known for their striking appearance and unique behavior, and today we're going to explore some of the fascinating facts about them and what we can learn from them as Christians. Beluga whales are often called sea canaries because of their high-pitched vocalizations that sound like bird songs. They are also known for their striking white color and bulbous forehead, which is believed to help with echolocation in murky waters. Beluga whales use complex vocalizations for communication. Proverbs 15 verse 1 tells us that, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Beluga whales remind us of the significance of effective communication and building meaningful relationships in our faith journey. Beluga whales are found in the Arctic and subarctic waters of Russia, Alaska, Canada, and Greenland, and are the only whales that can bend their necks and move their heads from side to side. They are able to adapt to different environments, even transitioning from freshwater to saltwater. Philippians 4 verse 13 reminds us that, I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Beluga whales teach us about the importance of adaptability and flexibility in our walk with God. Beluga whales embark on long migrations, navigating challenges. They teach us about perseverance and the trust we place in God when navigating life's journeys. We must always remember to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 to 6. Beluga whales are known for their social behavior and intelligence. They are also known for their playful behavior, such as spinning, headstands, and blowing bubbles. Scientists have found that beluga whales have a highly developed brain and are capable of complex problem solving and communication, they are very social animals and often travel in groups called pods, which can range from a few individuals to several hundred. These close-knit pods emphasize community and unity. They teach us about the importance of Christian fellowship and the strength that comes from standing together. Psalm 133 verse 1 says, Behold, how good and pleasant it is when brothers dwell in unity. As Christians, we can learn from the social behavior and intelligence of beluga whales. We are called to live in community with one another and to use our God-given abilities to serve others and solve problems. In 1 Corinthians 12 verses 12 to 14, we read, For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and all were made to drink of one spirit. For the body does not consist of one member but of many. This passage reminds us that we are all part of the body of Christ, and we are called to use our unique gifts and abilities to build up the church and serve others. 
Beluga whales also exhibit sensitivity and compassion, often helping injured pod members. They encourage us to show compassion and care for one another, following the example of Christ's love. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Ephesians 4 verse 32 Finally, beluga whales are also important indicators of the health of their environment. Because they are at the top of the food chain in their ecosystem, any changes or disruptions in their environment can have a ripple effect on the entire food web. In this way, these creatures remind us of our responsibility as Christians to care for God's creation and be good stewards of the earth. In Genesis 1 verse 28, we read, And God blessed them. And God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. This passage reminds us that God has entrusted us with the care of his creation, and we are called to use our God-given authority to protect and preserve the earth and all its inhabitants. As we conclude our video on beluga whales, let us remember to give thanks to God for his amazing creation and our responsibility to care for it. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from beluga whales and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're hopping into the amazing world of bilbies, those charming marsupials that called the Australian wilderness home. But did you know that bilbies can offer us valuable life lessons deeply rooted in biblical wisdom? Join me as we delve into the spiritual lessons we can learn from these magnificent creatures. Bilbies have faced adversity, and their continued existence is a testament to resilience. The Bible speaks of the strength we can find during challenging times. In Psalm 34 verse 19, it says, The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. Just as bilbies overcome adversity, we too can find strength in the Lord during our trials. Bilbies are known for their strong family connections and protective parenting. The Bible emphasizes the importance of nurturing and caring for our loved ones. In 1 Timothy 5 verse 8, it says, Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Just as bilbies prioritize their families, we too should provide and care for our loved ones. Bilbies often forage together, sharing the workload and enhancing their chances of survival. The Bible encourages us to work together in harmony. Philippians 2 verses 2 to 4 tells us, Then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your interests but each of you to the interests of the others. This passage encourages believers to be like-minded, humble, and considerate of others, valuing their interests above their own. It reflects the idea of cooperation, unity, and selflessness, just as bilbies cooperate and work together as a group. Bilbies often exhibit bravery when confronting potential dangers. The Bible speaks to the importance of finding courage in our faith. In Joshua 1 verse 9, it says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Just as bilbies face danger with courage, we should find strength and bravery in our faith, knowing that God is with us. Bilbies are skilled at thriving in diverse habitats, showcasing their remarkable adaptability. The Bible encourages us to be adaptable and open to God's guidance. In Isaiah 43 verse 19, it says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. 
Just as bilbies adapt to different environments, we should be open to God's guidance, allowing Him to create new paths for us. Bilbies relish their meals with evident gratitude, savoring the simple pleasures of life. The Bible teaches us to be thankful for all that we have. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18, it says, Give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Just as bilbies appreciate their meals, we too should cultivate a heart of gratitude, giving thanks in all aspects of our lives. Our final lesson celebrates hope. Bilbies, once on the brink of extinction, now offer hope for the future. The Bible encourages us to find hope in our faith and trust in God's promises. In Romans 15 verse 13, it says, May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in Him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Just as bilbies represent hope for their species, we should place our hope in God, trusting that He will fill us with joy and peace through the Holy Spirit. As we conclude our journey into the captivating world of bilbies, we can see that these marsupials serve as a beautiful reminder of the profound spiritual insights we can gain from observing and reflecting on the natural world. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from bilbies and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we'll be looking at one of the most beautiful and diverse creatures in the animal kingdom, birds. Whether you are a bird enthusiast or simply fascinated by God's design, I hope you enjoy this exploration of the feathered friends that fill our skies. Birds are mentioned in the Bible over 300 times, which is a testament to their importance in God's creation. They come in a wide variety of colors, shapes, and sizes, each with their unique characteristics and behaviors. Some, like the eagle, are known for their strength and soaring abilities. Others, like the toucan, are admired for their beauty. One of the most remarkable features of birds is their ability to fly. From the majestic wings of the eagle to the tiny flutters of the sparrow, birds take to the skies with grace and ease. As Christians, we can find inspiration in the way birds soar above the earth and remind us of our spiritual potential. In Isaiah 40 verse 31, it says, But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles, they will run and not grow weary, they will walk and not be faint. Birds teach us about perseverance and diligence. Hummingbirds tirelessly hover around flowers to collect nectar, showing remarkable diligence and perseverance. They teach us the value of putting consistent effort into our pursuits. The Bible says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time, we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Galatians 6 verse 9 Sparrows are adaptable and can thrive in various environments. Their presence in nature reminds us of God's care and provision, teaching us to trust in his plan even in uncertain times. The Bible says, Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground outside your father's care. Matthew 10 verse 29 Doves are often associated with peace and have a calm demeanor. In the Bible, the dove also symbolizes the Holy Spirit. Their gentle nature reminds us of the importance of finding inner peace through communion with God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Matthew 5 verse 9 Birds also have a remarkable sense of navigation. Many species, like the homing pigeon, can find their way back to their nests over long distances. This ability to navigate inspires us to trust in God's guidance in our own lives even when the way is unclear.
Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. In conclusion, birds remind us of God's beauty and creativity in the world. They inspire us to trust in God's guidance and soar to new heights in our spiritual journey. Let us continue to appreciate and protect these magnificent creatures, and give thanks for the many ways in which they bless our lives. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lesson we can learn from birds and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today we are going to talk about a unique bird that has been a symbol of God's artistry, the blue-footed booby. The blue-footed booby is known for its blue feet which is a result of the accumulation of pigments from the food they eat. Their blue feet are not just a beauty feature but serve as an important factor in choosing their mate. Today, let's see what lessons we can learn from this amazing bird. Let's begin with a Bible verse from Proverbs 8 verse 27 which says, I was there when he set the heavens in place, when he marked out the horizon on the face of the deep. This verse reminds us of God's presence and his sovereignty over his creation. The blue-footed booby is a perfect example of how God's creativity is limitless, and he creates each creature with its unique features and abilities. Psalm 139 verse 14 says, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Blue-footed boobies often nest in simple depressions in the ground. They teach us about finding contentment in life's simple blessings and not becoming overly focused on material possessions. 1 Timothy 6 verse 6 reminds us, but godliness with contentment is great gain. Another thing that makes the blue-footed booby unique is its dance. The blue-footed booby is known for its distinct dance which it uses as a courtship display. The dance is an essential part of the mating ritual, and it shows the male's strength and ability to provide for the female and their offspring. In the same way, as Christians, we need to have a distinct dance that sets us apart from the rest of the world. This dance is not a physical dance, but rather our actions and lifestyle that reflects our faith in God. Our actions should be a reflection of the love and grace that God has shown us, and it should attract others towards God's kingdom. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 tells us, But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Moreover, the blue-footed booby is a faithful bird. Once they choose their mate, they remain faithful to them for their entire life. This level of faithfulness is rare in the animal kingdom, and it is a great example for us as Christians to follow. We should remain faithful to our spouse, friends, and family, just as God is always faithful to us. Husbands, love your wives, just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Ephesians 5 verse 25 Let's take a moment to reflect on Psalm 36 verse 5 which says, Your love, Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness to the skies. This verse reminds us of God's faithfulness towards us and how we should emulate his character in our relationships. In conclusion, the blue-footed booby is a remarkable bird that teaches us valuable lessons about God's creativity, the importance of a distinct dance, and the value of faithfulness. Let's take these lessons and apply them to our lives as we strive to be more like Christ. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from blue-footed boobies and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching.
Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're about to embark on an enchanting journey into the world of butterflies. These graceful creatures hold a special place in our hearts, and we're going to take a closer look at their incredible transformation. But what's even more captivating is the wisdom we can glean from their existence. So, grab your Bible, and let's embark on this spiritual exploration. Before we delve into our first object lesson, let's immerse ourselves in the captivating life cycle of a butterfly. Just like a humble caterpillar, we all go through stages of transformation in our lives. But therein lies a profound truth, change can lead to something exceptionally beautiful. In the sacred verses of 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17, we read, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation, the old has gone, the new has come. This transformation mirrors the journey of a caterpillar becoming a butterfly, shedding its old self to embrace a new, radiant life in Christ. Just as the caterpillar emerges as a butterfly, we can experience renewal and transformation in Christ. Next, let's take a moment to appreciate the graceful flight of a butterfly. Have you ever marveled at how effortlessly they glide through the air? This elegant spectacle reminds us of the unparalleled freedom we find in Christ. In Galatians 5 verse 1, we are reminded, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm, then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Like butterflies, we too should embrace the wings of liberty that Christ extends to us, breaking free from the chains of sin and guilt. Just as the butterfly soars through the skies, our faith in Christ can lift us to new heights of freedom. Butterflies, much like this delicate creature, find nourishment from the vibrant petals of flowers. This serves as a poignant reminder that we, too, should seek spiritual nourishment in our lives. In the timeless words of Matthew 4 verse 4, we read, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. Just as butterflies depend on nectar, we should rely on the sweet sustenance of God's word to nourish our souls, fortify our faith, and ensure our spiritual growth. Just as butterflies gather nectar for survival, we should seek God's word for our spiritual sustenance. Observe the kaleidoscope of colors adorning these delicate wings. In their stunning beauty, butterflies reflect the glory of creation. Similarly, we can learn to reflect the glory of God through our actions. In Matthew 5 verse 16, we find the profound message, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Just as butterflies adorn the world with their colors, we are called to illuminate the world with our faith and good deeds, magnifying the glory of our Heavenly Father. Just as butterflies display their colors, our actions should reflect God's glory. Lastly, take a moment to appreciate the delicate nature of butterflies. Their fragility serves as a poignant reminder of our need to rely on God's strength in our moments of weakness. In 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9, we are reassured with the words, But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in weakness. Like these delicate creatures, we may be fragile, but in our weakness, we find his strength. We can trust in his grace to carry us through life's challenges. Just as butterflies depend on their fragility, we can depend on God's strength in our weakness. As we conclude our captivating journey into the world of butterflies, we've discovered these five profound object lessons from the Bible intertwined with their remarkable lives, metamorphosis, freedom, nourishment, reflecting God's glory, and relying on God's strength. Much like the wondrous transformation of a caterpillar into a butterfly, we too can experience spiritual growth and inner beauty in our lives. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from butterflies and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching.
Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we embark on a journey through the arid landscapes of the desert, home to the remarkable camels. Beyond their iconic humps and hardy nature, camels offer us profound life lessons, reflecting the wisdom of the Bible. Join me as we delve into the spiritual lessons we can learn from these magnificent creatures. Camels are renowned for their endurance in the harsh desert environment. Their resilience mirrors the Bible's message of enduring life's challenges. James 1 verse 12 says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. Like camels persevering in the desert, this verse encourages us to endure trials with faith. Camels adapt to extreme temperatures and limited resources, teaching us about adaptability in our faith journey. Isaiah 41 verse 13 reminds us, For I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, Do not fear, I will help you. Just as camels adapt to the desert, this verse encourages us to embrace change in God's new works. Camels exhibit patience in their search for water and sustenance, mirroring the Bible's message of waiting for God's perfect timing. Psalm 27 verse 14 says to, Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Just as camels display patience in their actions. This verse encourages us to wait for God's timing in our lives. Camels depend on divine provision in the desert, emphasizing the importance of trusting God's care. Philippians 4 verse 19 says, And my God will meet all your needs according to the riches of his glory in Christ Jesus. Like camels relying on God's provision, this verse reminds us that God meets our needs. Camels often travel in caravans for protection and support, teaching us about the strength found in unity and spiritual fellowship. 1 Corinthians 1 verse 10 says, I appeal to you, brothers and sisters, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that all of you agree with one another in what you say and that there be no divisions among you, but that you be perfectly united in mind and thought. Like camels in unity, this verse emphasizes the importance of unity in faith. Camels symbolize humility in their willingness to carry burdens, reminding us to acknowledge our own needs and rely on God's help. Philippians 2 verse 3, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility value others above yourselves. Like camels embracing humility, this verse encourages us to value others above ourselves. Camels appreciate water as a precious gift, mirroring the Bible's message of gratitude for God's blessings. Psalm 107 verses 8 to 9 says, Oh that people would give thanks to the Lord for his unfailing love and his wonderful deeds for mankind, for he satisfies the thirsty and fills the hungry with goodness. Like camels treasuring water, this verse calls us to give thanks for God's provision. Camels tirelessly carry burdens, illustrating the biblical message of serving others with a faithful heart. Galatians 5 verse 13 says, You, my brothers and sisters, were called to be free. But do not use your freedom to indulge the flesh, rather, serve one another humbly in love. Like camels serving through burdens, this verse reminds us to serve others in love. As we conclude our exploration of camels, we've unveiled invaluable object lessons that guide us in our spiritual journey. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from camels and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know which animal you would like me to discuss. Today, we'll be talking about an amazing creature that many of us might not have heard of before, the capybara. So, what is a capybara? 
It's a large, semi-aquatic rodent that lives in Central and South America. Let's dive in and discover more about this stunning animal. First, let's talk about the capybara's physical characteristics. They have short, dark brown fur and webbed feet that help them swim. Their eyes, ears, and nostrils are located on the top of their head, which makes it easy for them to see, hear, and smell while swimming. They can grow up to 4 feet in length and weigh over 100 pounds, making them the largest rodents in the world. But did you know that capybaras are also social creatures? They live in groups of up to 20 and communicate with each other through sounds, body language, and scent marking. They're also known for their gentle nature and have been observed interacting with other animals such as birds and monkeys. So, what can we learn from the capybara? Well, one lesson we can draw from their social nature is the importance of community. God created us to live in community and to support one another. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it says, Two are better than one, because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Just as capybaras rely on each other for survival and thrive in groups, we too need the support and encouragement of others in our lives. We're not meant to go through life alone, but to share in each other's joys and struggles. Another lesson we can learn from the capybara is the importance of being gentle and kind. In the book of Proverbs, it says, A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Capybaras are known for their gentle nature, and as Christians, we're called to be gentle and kind towards others as well. We live in a world where people often prioritize power, strength, and success over gentleness and kindness. However, we can make a difference by choosing to be gentle and showing love and compassion towards others, just as God has shown us love and compassion. In conclusion, the capybara is a remarkable animal that teaches us about the importance of community and gentleness. As we reflect on God's creation, let's remember the lessons we can learn from these fascinating creatures and strive to apply them in our own lives. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from capybaras and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the world of one of the most fascinating creatures, the cassowary. Join me as we uncover the marvelous traits of this extraordinary bird and discover how it reflects God's extravagant creativity. The cassowary, native to the tropical rainforests of Australia and New Guinea, is truly a remarkable creature. Its vibrant colors, distinctive cask, and powerful physique make it an extraordinary example of God's diverse and intricate handiwork. The scriptures remind us of God's marvelous creations in Psalm 104 verse 24, which says, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom, you made them all, the earth is full of your creatures. The cassowary serves as a living testament to this truth, highlighting God's wisdom and creativity in the animal kingdom. Let's dive into the fascinating features of the cassowary. Its vibrant feathers and striking cask demonstrate the beauty and diversity that God has woven into his creation. These remarkable traits not only make the cassowary a visually stunning creature but also serve important purposes in its survival and interactions within its ecosystem. In the opening chapter of the Bible, Genesis 1 verse 21 reveals God's intention behind his creation of birds, so God created the great creatures of the sea and every living thing with which the water teems and that moves about in it, according to their kinds, and every winged bird according to its kind. 
The cassowary's presence in our world testifies to God's deliberate design and care for every living creature. Cassowary's striking and distinctive appearance reminds us of the diversity and beauty of God's creation. Their uniqueness serves as a powerful illustration of the individuality and special purpose that each person holds within the body of Christ. We are encouraged to celebrate and appreciate the remarkable diversity of God's creation, recognizing that we are fearfully and wonderfully made in His image. A beautiful passage from Psalm 139 celebrates the uniqueness of each individual as a reflection of God's marvelous creation. For you created my inmost being, you knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made, your works are wonderful, I know that full well. Psalm 139 verses 13 to 14. The cassowary plays a vital role in its rainforest ecosystem. It helps disperse seeds by consuming fruits and depositing them in new areas. God's intricate design of the cassowary ensures that the rainforest flourishes and maintains its delicate balance. Through the cassowary, we witness God's provision and wisdom in sustaining His creation. Cassowary's sharp awareness of their surroundings serves as a compelling reminder of the importance of vigilance in our lives. Just as these birds remain alert to potential threats, we too, must stay spiritually awake and vigilant in our faith journey. By maintaining a keen sense of awareness, we can better navigate the challenges and temptations that may come our way. 1 Peter 5 verse 8 reminds us to, be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy the devil prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Cassowaries are known for their resilience in the face of adversity, including habitat loss and environmental challenges. Their ability to endure and adapt reminds us of the importance of resilience in our faith. Just as cassowaries find strength in adversity, we are encouraged to consider it pure joy when facing trials, as they produce perseverance and spiritual growth. Consider it pure joy, my brothers and sisters, whenever you face trials of many kinds because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. James 1 verses 2 to 3. The cassowary's dedication to parenting is truly admirable. The male cassowary takes the responsibility of incubating the eggs and raising the young, showcasing sacrificial love and care. This mirrors the love our Heavenly Father has for us, as He guides, nurtures, and protects us with unwavering devotion. This behavior serves as a powerful lesson in the importance of parental care and support in the lives of our children. It underscores the biblical principle of raising children in the training and instruction of the Lord. Ephesians 6 verse 4 highlights the responsibility of parents, particularly fathers, in nurturing and guiding their children in the ways of the Lord. Fathers, do not exasperate your children, instead, bring them up in the training and instruction of the Lord. Cassowaries, with their imposing stature and territorial nature, provide a valuable lesson in respecting boundaries. Much like these birds vigilantly protect their territory from intruders, we should also be mindful of personal boundaries and the property of others. Respecting boundaries is not only a matter of courtesy but also reflects our commitment to love and honor our neighbors as ourselves. Do not move an ancient boundary stone set up by your ancestors. Proverbs 22 verse 28 Respecting boundaries is a timeless and honorable practice. As we conclude our exploration of the magnificent cassowary, let us be reminded of God's extravagant creativity and boundless love. Every aspect of this incredible bird points us back to our Creator, who delights in showcasing His glory through His diverse and intricate creations. May we continue to marvel at God's handiwork and be inspired to care for His creation with reverence and gratitude. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from the cassowary and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel 
where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we turn our attention to the remarkable caterpillars, those humble creatures often overlooked. However, within their transformative journey from crawling to soaring, caterpillars reveal profound life lessons and spiritual insights that echo the wisdom of the Bible. Join me as we delve into the spiritual lessons we can learn from these magnificent creatures. Caterpillars undergo an incredible transformation, evolving from tiny, crawling creatures into magnificent butterflies. Their journey mirrors the Bible's teachings on spiritual rebirth and transformation. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 tells us, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Like caterpillars emerging as butterflies, this verse reminds us of the transformative power of faith. Caterpillars display remarkable patience as they undergo metamorphosis. This mirrors the Bible's message of waiting patiently for the fulfillment of God's promises. Psalm 27 verse 14 says, Wait for the Lord, be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. Just as caterpillars exhibit patience in their transformation, this verse encourages us to trust God's perfect timing. Caterpillars often live low to the ground, humbly embracing their vulnerability. This object lesson encourages us to acknowledge our own vulnerabilities and rely on God's protection. Psalm 46 verse 1 tells us, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Like caterpillars recognizing their vulnerability, this verse emphasizes turning to God as our refuge and strength. Caterpillars embark on their transformative journey with unwavering faith, despite the uncertainties they face. This reflects the Bible's message of trusting in God's plan, even when it's not fully known. Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6 reminds us to Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. Like caterpillars trusting in their transformative journey, this verse encourages us to trust in God's plan. Caterpillars encounter numerous obstacles during their journey, yet they persist. This reflects the Bible's message of perseverance in the face of adversity. Romans 5 verse 3 to 4 tells us, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces patience, patience, character, and character, hope. Just as caterpillars persevere through their challenges, this passage encourages us to endure and find hope in our trials. Caterpillars' external transformation mirrors the inner beauty that can be found within each of us. This teaches us to appreciate the beauty of our own spiritual transformations. 1 Samuel 16 verse 7 says, But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Like caterpillars revealing their inner beauty, this verse emphasizes the importance of the heart's transformation. Caterpillars often cluster together for protection during their journey. This reflects the Bible's message of strength found in spiritual fellowship. Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 tells us, And let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day approaching. Like caterpillars finding strength in community, this verse encourages us to support and uplift one another in faith. Finally, caterpillars adapt to various environments, mirroring the Bible's wisdom in being flexible and adaptable in our faith journey. Isaiah 43 verse 19 says, See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up, do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Just as caterpillars adapt to different environments, this verse encourages us to embrace change and God's new works. As we conclude our journey through the remarkable world of caterpillars, we've discovered profound object lessons that offer guidance in our spiritual lives. These humble creatures teach us about transformation, patience, humility, faith, perseverance, inner beauty, community, 
adaptation, and nurturing. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from caterpillars and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Welcome to our channel, where we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we'll be talking about cats, those mysterious and elegant creatures that have been beloved by humans for centuries. But did you know that there's more to cats than just their cute faces and playful personalities? In fact, cats can teach us important lessons about our faith and our relationship with God. First of all, cats remind us of the importance of rest and relaxation. They know when it's time to take a break and recharge, and they do it without any guilt or shame. As Christians, we can sometimes feel like we have to be constantly busy or productive, but God tells us to rest and trust in Him. In Matthew 11 verse 28, Jesus says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. So let's learn from our feline friends and take time to rest in God's presence. Another lesson we can learn from cats is the importance of independence. Cats are known for their independence and self-sufficiency, they don't need anyone else to take care of them. As Christians, we can sometimes rely too much on other people or things to fulfill us, when we should be seeking our fulfillment in God. In Psalm 62 verses 5 to 6, it says, Yes, my soul, find rest in God, my hope comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and my salvation, He is my fortress, I will not be shaken. Let's follow the example of cats and find our strength and independence in God. Finally, cats remind us of the importance of being aware of our surroundings. Cats are always alert and aware of their environment, they know when there's danger, when there's food nearby, and when there's something interesting to investigate. As Christians, we need to be aware of our surroundings too, we need to be aware of the temptations and dangers that surround us, and we need to be open to the opportunities that God places in front of us. Let's follow the example of cats and be alert to the world around us, while also trusting in God to guide us. So there you have it, some important lessons we can learn from cats about our faith and our relationship with God. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we embark on an enthralling journey into the enigmatic world of centipedes, those small yet captivating creatures that often hide in plain sight. But did you know that centipedes have profound life lessons to offer, deeply rooted in the wisdom of the Bible? Join me as we delve into the spiritual lessons we can learn from these magnificent creatures. Our first lesson from the world of centipedes centers on perseverance. These remarkable creatures navigate through various terrains, overcoming obstacles with remarkable determination. The Bible is filled with verses that encourage us to persevere through life's challenges. Hebrews 10 verse 36 tells us, You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what He has promised. This verse emphasizes the importance of perseverance in fulfilling God's will and receiving His promises. Just as centipedes persevere in their journey, we too should persevere in our faith and obedience, knowing that God's promises await us. Centipedes, with their venomous fangs, use their resources wisely to capture prey. The Bible teaches us about using our gifts and resources for God's purpose. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. This verse encourages us to be good stewards of the gifts and resources God has entrusted to us, using them for the benefit of others, much like centipedes skillfully utilize their venom. Centipedes navigate through tough terrain with unwavering determination. 
The Bible emphasizes the value of remaining steadfast in our faith and actions. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 says, Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. This verse encourages us to stand firm in our faith and service, knowing that our efforts in the Lord are meaningful and enduring, much like the unwavering nature of centipedes. Centipedes are adaptable predators, thriving in various environments. The Bible teaches us to be versatile and flexible in our service and ministry. In 1 Corinthians 9 verse 22, the Apostle Paul tells us, To the weak I became weak, to win the weak. I have become all things to all people so that by all possible means I might save some. This verse highlights the concept of becoming adaptable and versatile to reach others with the message of Christ, just as centipedes adapt to different environments. It encourages us to meet people where they are, offering spiritual guidance as needed. Lastly, let's reflect on unseen strength. Centipedes may appear small, but they possess potent mandibles. The Bible teaches us about the unseen strength and power that can reside within us. Philippians 4 verse 13 says, I can do all this through him who gives me strength. Just as centipedes possess hidden strength, we too can draw strength from our faith in Christ to overcome life's challenges. As we conclude our journey into the captivating world of centipedes, we have seen how these remarkable arthropods remind us of the profound spiritual insights we can gain from observing and reflecting on the natural world. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from centipedes and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today's video is about chameleons. These unique creatures are known for their ability to change color and blend in with their surroundings. But there is much more to learn about these fascinating animals, and as we explore them today, we will also discover what the Bible has to say about God's creation. Chameleons are known for their ability to change color, but did you know that they change colors for more than just camouflage? Their skin color can also change in response to temperature, light, and even mood. This incredible ability is a testament to the complexity and diversity of God's creation. They teach us the importance of adapting to different situations and being flexible in our interactions and circumstances. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verse 22 tells us, I have become all things to all people, that by all means I might save some. Chameleons move slowly and deliberately. They remind us of the value of taking things at a steady pace and finding contentment in resting and waiting on God's timing. Psalm 37 verse 7 says to, Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for Him. Do not fret because of Him who prospers in His way, because of the man who carries out wicked schemes. Chameleons have strong grasping feet for stability. They remind us to stay grounded in our faith and hold on to God's promises for stability and strength. Therefore, as you receive Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in Him, rooted and built up in Him and established in the faith, just as you were taught, abounding in thanksgiving. Colossians 2 verses 6 to 7. Chameleons are also known for their long tongues, which they use to capture prey. Their tongues are so long that they can reach up to twice the length of their body. This is just one example of the amazing design and engineering that God has put into these creatures. In Job 12 verses 7 to 10, we read, But ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish in the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? In his hand is the life of every creature and the breath of all mankind. 
Chameleons also have unique eyes that can move independently of each other, allowing them to see in two different directions at once. This gives them a 360-degree view of their surroundings and helps them to spot prey and predators. They teach us to look beyond surface appearances and seek understanding in our relationships and interactions. John chapter 7 verse 24 tells us, Do not judge by appearances, but judge with right judgment. Finally, chameleons use camouflage for protection. They teach us to trust in God's protective covering and to seek refuge in Him during times of difficulty. He will cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Psalm 91 verse 4 In conclusion, chameleons are fascinating creatures that showcase God's creativity and wisdom. From their color-changing abilities to their long tongues and unique eyes, these creatures remind us of the wonder and beauty of God's creation. As we continue to explore the natural world around us, may we never forget to give thanks to the Creator who made it all. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from chameleons and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're embarking on a high-altitude adventure to explore the fascinating world of the chamois. These incredible mountain-dwelling creatures have much to teach us about life and faith. Join me as we unravel the mysteries of the chamois and uncover their special qualities and how we can apply them to our life. Our first lesson from the world of chamois centers on perseverance. These agile animals are known for their remarkable ability to scale the steepest cliffs and navigate challenging terrain. The Bible encourages us to persevere in our faith and life's challenges. In Romans 5 verses 3 to 4, it says, Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Just as Shami face adversity with perseverance, we too should embrace challenges, knowing they can lead to character and hope. Our next lesson is about adaptability. Shami are masters at adapting to diverse mountain ecosystems. Similarly, the Bible teaches us to be adaptable and open to God's guidance in different seasons of our lives. In Psalm 37 verse 23, it says, The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Just as Shami adapt to the challenging mountain environments, we can trust that the Lord guides and makes firm the steps of those who delight in him, helping us navigate the ever-changing seasons of life. Our third lesson revolves around community. Shami often forage and travel in groups, relying on each other for safety and companionship. The Bible emphasizes the importance of community and unity among believers. In 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11, it says, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. Just as Shami find strength and support in their communities, we too should encourage and uplift one another in our faith communities. Another remarkable aspect of chamois is their resilience. They endure extreme cold and harsh mountain weather. The Bible teaches us the importance of resilience and standing firm in our faith. In 1 Corinthians 16 verse 13, it says, Be on your guard, stand firm in the faith, be courageous, be strong. Just as chamois stand firm against harsh conditions, we should stand firm in our faith, remaining courageous and strong in the face of adversity. Lastly, let's talk about trusting God's guidance. Shami expertly navigate treacherous mountain paths, relying on their instincts. Similarly, the Bible encourages us to trust in God's guidance and wisdom. In Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him and he will make your paths straight. Just as Shami trust their instincts in the mountains, we should trust God's guidance, 
knowing that he will lead us on the right path. As we conclude our breathtaking journey into the world of the chamois, we've uncovered that these magnificent mountain-dwelling creatures can teach us valuable life lessons that can enrich our faith and guide us on our own journeys. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from the chamois and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. In today's video we'll explore the fascinating world of cheetahs. These magnificent creatures are known for their speed, agility, and grace. But did you know that cheetahs can also teach us important lessons about God's power and wisdom? Join me as we discover the spiritual significance of the world's fastest land animals. Cheetahs are renowned for their laser-like focus when hunting prey. They are able to accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just a few seconds. They demonstrate unwavering determination in pursuing their target. This teaches us the importance of staying focused on our goals and persevering through challenges. Proverbs 4 verse 25 says, Let your eyes look directly forward, and your gaze be straight before you. Even though cheetahs are powerful sprinters, they cannot maintain their top speed for long periods. After an intense chase, they need time to rest and recover. This teaches us the importance of recognizing our limits and taking time for self-care and rest. Psalm 46 verse 10 says, Be still, and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations, I will be exalted in the earth. Cheetahs are also social animals, often living in small groups with siblings or other relatives. They communicate with each other through a variety of sounds and gestures, and even purr like domestic cats when they're content. Their bond is strong and supportive, allowing them to work together to raise their young and defend their territory. The Bible in Psalm 18 verse 32 tells us that God is our rock, our fortress, and our deliverer. He equips us with strength and makes our way perfect. Just like cheetahs, we can rely on God's power and wisdom to overcome the challenges we face in life. As we watch these amazing animals in their natural habitat, let us remember that God's creation is filled with wonder, beauty, and diversity. Each animal has a unique role to play in the balance and harmony of the ecosystem. And each one reflects a different aspect of God's character and love. May the swiftness of cheetahs and the power of God inspire you to run with perseverance and faith, always trusting in the one who created you and sustains you. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from cheetahs and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Chimpanzees are fascinating animals, with many unique behaviors and characteristics that make them a wonder of God's creation. In this video, we will explore some of the interesting facts about these primates and how they can teach us important lessons about ourselves and our relationship with God. Chimpanzees are intelligent creatures, capable of using tools, solving problems, and communicating with each other through a variety of vocalizations, gestures, and facial expressions. They also have complex social lives, living in large groups with complex hierarchies and social interactions. Chimpanzees live in tight-knit communities, with strong bonds between members of their group. They work together to care for their young, protect their territory, and find food. They also engage in playful activities, grooming, and other social behaviors that help maintain their bonds. Proverbs 27 verse 17 says, As iron sharpens iron, so one person sharpens another. 
Just as chimpanzees sharpen each other through their social interactions, we too are called to support and encourage each other in our own communities. Chimpanzees have leaders within their groups. They teach us about the responsibilities of leadership and the importance of accountable leadership in Christian communities. Obey your leaders and submit to their authority. They keep watch over you as those who must give an account. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Chimpanzees show empathy and compassion toward their offspring. They remind us to display care and compassion for others, following the example of Christ's love. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ, God forgave you. Ephesians 4 verse 32 While chimpanzees are known for their strong social bonds, they also experience conflict within their groups. This can manifest in aggressive behaviors such as territorial disputes, fights for dominance, and even warfare between different groups. In Matthew 18 verse 15, it says, If your brother or sister sins, go and point out their fault, just between the two of you. If they listen to you, you have won them over. Conflict is a natural part of any community, but it is important to approach it in a constructive way that seeks to build up rather than tear down. Chimpanzees exhibit problem-solving skills and intelligence in using tools. They encourage us to use our God-given intelligence to solve problems and overcome challenges. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. James 1 verse 5 Chimpanzees communicate vocally and sometimes exhibit joyful vocalizations. They remind us of the joy and praise we can express in our worship and relationship with God. Psalm 98 verse 4 commissions us to shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth, burst into jubilant song with music. Chimpanzees are incredible animals that can teach us a lot about community, conflict, and the wonders of God's creation. As we learn more about these primates, may we be inspired to appreciate and care for all of God's creatures, and to live in harmony with the world around us. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from chimpanzees and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we dive into the vibrant and captivating world of the clownfish. These small but remarkable creatures have a story to tell that reminds us of God's love and purpose in our lives. Clownfish are known for their vibrant colors and unique behavior. They live in a symbiotic relationship with sea anemones, finding protection and shelter among their poisonous tentacles. This remarkable partnership reminds us of the importance of community and finding refuge in the presence of God. Psalm 91 verse 1 says, Whoever dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. Just like the clownfish finds safety in the embrace of the sea anemone, we find our refuge and strength in the presence of our Heavenly Father. He is our shelter in times of trouble and our protector in the storms of life. Another fascinating aspect of clownfish behavior is their dedication to family. The male clownfish also takes on the role of caring for the eggs. This selfless act of parental care reminds us of the importance of sacrificial love and nurturing relationships. Ephesians 5 verse 25 says, Husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. It's also incredible to witness the harmony and unity among clownfish as they navigate their underwater world. They move together in synchronized patterns, exemplifying the beauty of unity and cooperation. This teaches us the value of working together in harmony, 
supporting and encouraging one another. Romans 12 verse 16 says, Live in harmony with one another. Do not be proud, but be willing to associate with people of low position. Do not be conceited. Thank you for joining me today as we explore the remarkable world of clownfish. Through their vibrant colors, symbiotic partnerships, and nurturing behaviors, we are reminded of the beauty and purpose God has woven into every aspect of creation. Remember, we are called to live in harmony, find refuge in God's presence, and sacrificially love one another, just as the clownfish do. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from clownfish and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're going to talk about crabs. Crabs are fascinating creatures with unique adaptations that allow them to survive in a variety of environments. They have a hard exoskeleton that protects them from predators, and they use their powerful claws for defense and to catch prey. But did you know that crabs are mentioned in the Bible? In Leviticus 11 verse 9, God gives Moses and the Israelites a list of animals that they are allowed to eat and those they should avoid. Among those listed as unclean are whatever in the water does not have fins and scales. This would include crabs, as they do not have fins and scales. Now, just because crabs are not considered a clean food in the Bible, it doesn't mean that they're not important. In fact, crabs play a crucial role in many ecosystems. They help to break down dead plant and animal matter, which in turn helps to enrich the soil and provide nutrients for other organisms. Crabs also have a fascinating social structure. Many species live in large groups, called casts, and communicate with one another through a variety of sounds, including clicks and chirps. As we observe the intricate design of these creatures, it's clear that God has created them with purpose and intention. In Job chapter 12 verses 7 to 10, Job proclaims, But ask the animals, and they will teach you, or the birds in the sky, and they will tell you, or speak to the earth, and it will teach you, or let the fish in the sea inform you. Which of all these does not know that the hand of the Lord has done this? God's handiwork is evident in every aspect of creation, including crabs. As we marvel at their complexity and diversity, let us give thanks to the God who created them and sustains them. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn about crabs and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we'll be taking a closer look at crocodiles, one of the most powerful and fearsome predators in the animal kingdom. Many people fear crocodiles because of their strength and aggressiveness, but today, we'll see how they can also teach us important lessons. Crocodiles are incredibly powerful creatures that can grow up to 23 feet long and weigh up to 2,200 pounds. Despite their size, crocodiles are surprisingly agile in the water, able to swim at speeds of up to 20 miles per hour. Their powerful jaws, which can exert up to 3,000 pounds of force, allow them to capture and kill prey that is much larger than themselves. But as fearsome as crocodiles may seem, they are also a reminder of God's power and might. In the book of Job, God speaks to Job about the majesty of his creation, including the crocodile. Can you pull in Leviathan with a fish hook or tie down its tongue with a rope? 
Can you put a cord through its nose or pierce its jaw with a hook? Will it keep begging you for mercy? Will it speak to you with gentle words? Will it make an agreement with you for you to take it as your slave for life? Can you make a pet of it like a bird or put it on a leash for the young women in your house? Job 41 verses 1 through 5 God's message to Job is clear. No one can tame or control the power of the crocodile, just as no one can control or understand the full extent of God's power and might. Crocodiles can also teach us about the importance of patience and waiting on God. Crocodiles can remain still and silent for hours or even days, waiting for the perfect opportunity to strike. In the same way, we must learn to wait patiently on God's timing and trust that He will provide for us in His own way and time. As we wrap up our exploration of God's design in crocodiles, let us be reminded of the lessons we can learn from these powerful creatures. They are a testament to God's power and might, and a reminder to trust in His timing and provision. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lesson we can learn from crocodiles and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're going to talk about a fascinating creature that lives in our oceans, the cuttlefish. Cuttlefish belong to the same family as squids and octopuses, and they're known for their unique ability to change their skin color and texture. They use this ability to communicate with other cuttlefish, camouflage themselves from predators, and even hypnotize their prey. Isn't that amazing? God truly created an incredible and diverse range of creatures on this earth. Cuttlefish can be found in various parts of the ocean, from the coral reefs to the sandy ocean floor. They have eight arms and two tentacles, and they use them to catch their prey. They eat small fish, crabs, and even other cuttlefish. Cuttlefish can change their color and texture to blend with their environment. They teach us about the importance of adaptability and blending in when necessary. I have become all things to all people so that by all possible means I might save some. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 22 Cuttlefish use their skin patterns for communication and expression. They remind us to use our creativity and unique gifts to communicate effectively and share our faith. Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. Colossians 4 verse 6 Cuttlefish patiently stalk their prey and employ clever strategies for hunting. They teach us about the value of patience and strategic thinking in pursuing God's plans for our lives. The Bible says, But let patience have her perfect work, that you may be perfect and entire, lacking in nothing. James 1 verse 4 did you know that cuttlefish also have a special bone inside their body called the cuddle bone? This bone is used to regulate their buoyancy and helps them swim up and down in the water. God designed every part of the cuttlefish's body to help it survive and thrive in the ocean. It's truly a testament to his wisdom and creativity. Cuttlefish must discern between potential mates and threats. They remind us of the importance of discernment and seeking God's wisdom in making choices and decisions. James 1 verse 5 says, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Speaking of wisdom, let's look at what the Bible has to say about God's creation. Proverbs 8 verses 27 to 30 says, When he established the heavens, I was there when he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he made firm the skies above, when he established the fountains of the deep, when he assigned to the sea its limit, so that the waters might not transgress his command, when he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him, like a master workman, and I was daily his delight, rejoicing before him always. Isn't it amazing to know that God created every creature in the sea, including the cuttlefish? 
He set the boundaries of the ocean and designed every creature to fulfill its unique purpose. So next time you see a cuttlefish or any other creature in the ocean, take a moment to appreciate God's amazing creation and give thanks for His wisdom and creativity. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from cuttlefish and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're delving into the captivating world of the dingo, Australia's iconic wild dog. But did you know that dingoes can offer us profound life lessons deeply rooted in biblical wisdom? Join me as we delve into the spiritual lessons we can learn from these magnificent creatures. Our first lesson from the world of dingoes celebrates adaptability. These remarkable canines thrive in diverse Australian landscapes, showcasing their remarkable ability to adapt. The Bible encourages us to be adaptable in our faith and actions. Psalm 37 verse 5 says, Commit your way to the Lord, trust in Him, and He will act. This verse emphasizes the importance of trusting in God and submitting to His guidance. Just as dingoes adapt to diverse environments, we are encouraged to trust in the Lord's guidance and let Him lead us on the right path. Dingoes endure harsh weather and limited resources. The Bible speaks to the strength and resilience we can find in our faith. 2 Corinthians 4 verses 8-9 says, We are hard-pressed on every side, but not crushed, perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not abandoned, struck down, but not destroyed. These verses describe the resilience of believers in the face of adversity. Just as dingoes endure harsh conditions, we too can remain steadfast in our faith, knowing that we are not crushed, in despair, or destroyed when facing challenges. Dingoes, especially the Alpha, demonstrate strong leadership within their packs. The Bible teaches us about the qualities of good leadership. In Proverbs 11 verse 14, it says, for lack of guidance a nation falls, but victory is won through many advisors. Just as dingoes rely on strong leadership, we should seek wise guidance and leadership in our lives, understanding the importance of unity and collaboration. Dingoes rely on their natural instincts for survival. The Bible encourages us to trust our spiritual instincts and God's guidance. In Proverbs 3 verse 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding, in all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your paths straight. Just as dingoes trust their instincts for survival, we should trust in the Lord and lean on His guidance in our lives. Dingoes display bravery when confronting potential dangers. The Bible speaks to the importance of finding courage in our faith. Psalm 27 verse 1 reminds us that, the Lord is my light and my salvation, whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life, of whom shall I be afraid? This verse emphasizes the idea that the Lord is our protector and source of courage. Just as the dingo faces potential threats with bravery, we can trust in the Lord as our stronghold and face life's challenges without fear. Dingoes are resourceful hunters, using their skills to find food. The Bible teaches us to use our God-given gifts and resources wisely. In 1 Peter 4 verse 10, it says, Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Just as dingoes employ their skills for survival, we too should use our gifts and resources to serve others. Dingoes are known for their tight-knit family packs, working together for survival. The Bible emphasizes the importance of unity within the body of believers. In 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12, it says, Just as a body, 
though one, has many parts, but all its many parts form one body, so it is with Christ. This verse highlights the concept of unity within the body of believers, much like dingoes working together in their pack. Our final lesson celebrates humility. Dingoes lead simple lives, focusing on their immediate needs. The Bible speaks to the rewards of humility. Matthew 18 verse 4 says, Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Just as dingoes lead simple lives, we should embrace humility, recognizing its significance in the kingdom of heaven. As we conclude our journey into the enthralling world of dingoes, let these wild canines serve as a testament to the profound spiritual insights we can gain from observing the natural world. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from dingoes and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Are you tired of animal channels that overlook one crucial detail? That's about to change. Welcome to my channel, where we celebrate the breathtaking beauty of the animal kingdom while acknowledging the divine creator God behind it all. Prepare to witness a transformation in your love and understanding of God as you join me on an extraordinary journey of discovery, where we delve into the wonders of the animal world and unlock profound truths that lie beneath the surface. This channel is more than just your typical animal channel. It's a catalyst for personal growth and a wellspring of inspiration and a valuable resource for nature enthusiasts and youth ministries. Each day, I bring you a brand new, captivating animal video that not only educates but also imparts invaluable life lessons. From the indomitable strength of the mighty lion to the harmonious cooperation of a bustling bee colony, my videos spotlight the extraordinary qualities of animals that can guide us on our journey through life, lessons of resilience, love, perseverance, and more. Through these examples, we can see reflections of God's character and His desire for us to grow and thrive. Animals teach us about the importance of community, the power of adaptation, and the beauty of diversity. They demonstrate the intricate balance and interdependence within the natural world, reminding us of our responsibility as stewards of creation. Join this vibrant community of passionate animal lovers and seekers of divine wisdom. Whether you're a nature enthusiast, an inquisitive mind, or simply someone who marvels at the wonders of creation, this is the channel for you. As we explore the animal kingdom, we will also delve into relevant biblical passages that highlight God's handiwork. For instance, in Psalm 104 verses 24 to 25, it proclaims, How many are your works, Lord? In wisdom, you made them all, the earth is full of your creatures. There is the sea, vast and spacious, teeming with creatures beyond number, living things both large and small. Brace yourself for a daily dose of encouragement, enlightenment, and exhilarating scriptures that will solidify your Christian journey. Subscribe now, and never miss a moment of awe-inspiring content that will engage your mind, stir your emotions, and deepen your appreciation for our remarkable world, through the lens of our Creator. Discover the profound wonders of creation, reflect on its timeless significance, and grow in wisdom and faith. Together, let us rejoice in the splendor of God's handiwork, be inspired by the lessons animals teach us, and grow in wisdom and faith. Let us celebrate the magnificence of the natural world and the divine wisdom that lies within it. Dogs have been known as man's best friend for centuries. Their loyalty, unconditional love, and affection make them one of the most beloved pets in the world. But did you know that dogs can also teach us about God's love and faithfulness? In this video, we'll explore the spiritual lessons we can learn from our furry companions. The bond between a dog and its owner is a special one. It's a relationship built on trust, love, and companionship. 
Just as we rely on our dogs to be loyal and faithful to us, God also promises to be faithful to his people. In the book of Deuteronomy, God says, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6. Dogs also teach us about patience and obedience. Just as dogs are trained to follow commands, we too must learn to obey God's commands. When we trust in God's plan and follow His ways, we'll experience the peace and blessings that come with obedience. Dogs also remind us to have joy and playfulness in our lives. Just as dogs find joy in the simple things like chasing a ball or going for a walk, we too can find joy in the little moments of life. In the book of Ecclesiastes, it says, A joyful heart is good medicine. Ecclesiastes 17 verse 22. Lastly, dogs can teach us about compassion and empathy. Dogs have a special way of sensing our emotions and offering comfort when we need it most. As Christians, we're called to love and care for others just as God loves and cares for us. We can learn from dogs how to be compassionate and empathetic towards those around us. In conclusion, dogs are more than just pets, they're a gift from God that can teach us important spiritual lessons. They remind us of God's faithfulness, the importance of obedience, the joy of simple pleasures, and the power of compassion. So the next time you're spending time with your furry friend, take a moment to reflect on the special bond you share and the ways in which they reveal God's love to you. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Hi, and welcome back to my channel, where every day we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're delving into the dazzling world of dragonflies, those marvelous insects that grace our skies and waters. But did you know that dragonflies can teach us valuable life lessons deeply rooted in biblical wisdom? Join me as we delve into the spiritual lessons we can learn from these magnificent creatures. Our first lesson from the world of dragonfly centers on transformation. These delicate creatures undergo a miraculous transformation from water-dwelling nymphs to graceful, airborne adults. In the Bible, we find passages that speak of the transformative power of faith and renewal. In Ephesians 4 verses 22 to 24 Paul says, You were taught, with regard to your former way of life, to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds, and to put on the new self, created to be like God in true righteousness and holiness. Just as dragonflies undergo a remarkable transformation, we too can experience spiritual renewal through faith, aligning ourselves with God's perfect will. Dragonflies exhibit incredible patience and agility as they hover in the air. The Bible encourages us to persevere through life's challenges. Romans 5 verse 3 to 4 teaches us, not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. Just as dragonflies exhibit patience and perseverance in their flight, we too can endure trials and find hope in the promise of God's goodness and the crown of life. Dragonflies are skilled at thriving in diverse environments, showcasing their remarkable adaptability. The Bible encourages us to be adaptable and open to God's guidance in different circumstances. In Proverbs 16 verse 9, it says, In their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. Just as dragonflies adapt to various habitats, we should be open to God's guidance, allowing Him to establish our steps. Dragonflies exhibit incredible patience as they wait for prey to approach. The Bible speaks of the value of patience in our lives. In Galatians 6 verse 9, it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Just as dragonflies patiently wait for their prey, we too should not grow weary in doing good, knowing that a harvest will come in due time. Lastly, Dragonflies showcase their vibrant colors in the sunlight, reflecting their beauty. 
The Bible encourages us to reflect God's glory in our lives. In Matthew 5 verse 16, it says, In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Just as dragonflies reflect their beauty, we should reflect God's glory in our actions and deeds, inspiring others to glorify our Heavenly Father. As we conclude our journey into the world of dragonflies, we are reminded of the profound spiritual insights we can gain from observing and reflecting on the natural world. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share for more content on the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Comment below and let me know what object lessons we can learn from dragonflies and which animal you would like me to discuss. Thanks for watching. Hello and welcome to our channel, where we explore the beauty and wonder of God's creation. Today, we're going to dive into the world of dolphins and see what they can teach us about God's love and grace. Dolphins are one of the most intelligent and graceful creatures in the ocean. They are known for their playful behavior and their ability to communicate with each other using a complex system of clicks and whistles. But did you know that there's more to these fascinating creatures than just their physical abilities? Dolphins can actually teach us a lot about God's love for us. First, let's talk about their sense of community. Dolphins are highly social creatures and often travel in groups called pods. They look out for each other and work together to protect and care for their young. This reminds us of how God created us to live in community and to love and care for one another. Another lesson we can learn from dolphins is their ability to forgive. When two dolphins have a conflict, they will often reconcile by touching each other's bodies with their flippers or rubbing against each other. This act of physical touch and forgiveness is a powerful reminder of how we are called to forgive each other, just as God forgives us. Finally, dolphins can teach us about the importance of playfulness and joy. They are known for their acrobatic displays and love to swim and play together. This reminds us that God wants us to enjoy life and find joy in the world around us. So, the next time you see a dolphin, remember that these amazing creatures can teach us a lot about God's love and grace. Let's strive to live in community, forgive each other, and find joy in the world around us, just like the dolphins do. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on our channel, where we explore the wonders of God's creation.